Hey guys, my name is Trina. Today's video is going to be no flashback drugstore makeup tutorial, meaning that is photo friendly. And before we get started, I would just like to say my hair is curly. If you are a long time subscriber, you know I only have my hair curly during the spring and summer. But I decided to have my hair curly now because spring is taking too long to come and i live in new york and right now new york has been freezing cold and i can't take the cold now before i couldn't take the heat but now i can't take the cold so um spring is taking too long to come so that's why i have my hair curling now so anyways if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about makeup please don't forget to click the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any beauty videos i prime my lids for eyeshadow palette i have domini cosmetics Silencio thunder eyeshadow palette please note this is the only product that i'll be using that is not a drugstore product everything else will be drugstore this no the only product that's not drugstore so this is how it looks like on the inside I used this palette one time so I had to use this palette again because I love these like bold like spring related colors it is so pretty and i love in these colors and this shimmery shade for the crease i am taking this orange shade right here as you can see it is super pigmented Then I'm taking a darker shade, which is this shade that is called Storm Dust. So this is going to be for the outer corner and going to my crease. And I'm using my blending brush, which is Morph E17. So please note that these shadows are like very pigmented.
then I'm taking my Real Techniques shader brush. So I will be spraying it right now. And then I am taking this sparkly shade right here. It is called Eternal Light right here. So, it's going right here. So you definitely have to just like build it up. Okay, so I hope you guys like this look that I created. It's so pretty. So, let's move on to eyeliner. So, for eyeliner, I'm going to use my Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner. This one is in the shade black. It's like this. And it's like a retractable eyeliner like this and I love it because it's great for like the waterline and everything so I just really love it if you are new to my channel I normally don't do wings but I definitely have to practice on that so uh, I haven't been doing wings on my channel lately like eyeliner wings so that I would definitely focus on this year for 2020 just in case you guys are new to my channel you don't know I don't do wings eyeliner wings but I'm definitely practicing so once I finish practicing and I get the hang of it bam bam you'll see me Oh, with uh, my next couple of videos, it's going to be a wing liner. So, anyway, so I'm just doing a classic liner too, just like this. It's just a classic line, nothing fancy until I finish practicing. Then for mascara, I'm using Covergirl Hexbitionist in the shade Very Black.
so let me just chat with you guys real quick i will be making um like a drugstore purchase a target whatever it's gonna be a drugstore home because i have to get myself so a pack of falsies falsies glue and like i said before um more eyeliners and stuff and i get a lot of stuff from the drugstore i'm very backed up i gotta get some new stuff as well so i gotta get a pack of falsy some kiss lashes so i can use it on my um, make tutorials coming soon because I definitely want to have the falsies for spring for doing spring looks too. So, now to prime the skin, I am using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This one is my favorite. I know they came out with two other one, which is the Luminous and some other one. I think matte they came out with. So I I will try the Luminous one, but for now I have the Poreless Putty one. It's been my favorite since it first came out. So. so I'm taking some like this For foundation, I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation in the shade 560 Medium. And I'm using my ELF Ultimate Blending Brush. Now I'm putting a second layer because I have did a review on this so it will be a card right here so you can click the review if you want to learn more about this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Foundation. For concealer, I'm using the L'Oreal Inflammable Fresh Wear Concealer. It's in the shade, I got mine in the shade Cashew. Please note that I know this 
concealer came out last year if you guys are not aware this concealer is very full coverage so it would definitely cover the dark circle back and everything you know to deal with that so full coverage concealer is this l'oreal if i'm a fresh wear To set the concealer, I'm using my Maybelline Shine Free Oil Free Set it Loose Powder. So this set new on the Ulta website because they added two shades. I had this one's in the shade light. They added medium and dark on the Ulta website. So and I really love it so I have combination skin so this is definitely great if you have like oily skin or whatnot so the setting my concealer uh -huh. some here set in my foundation in now like to do this this will definitely make your makeup last time if you set it with a Powder. I love just love doing this. For bronzer, I have this LA Colors Contour Palette since I already set. Okay, I'm just going to use the bronzer part. So, if you guys are curious, why am I advertising LA Colors? Where am I going to find it or whatnot? So, you can find this LA Colors Contour Palette like just like this at the Dollar Tree. So, if you have a your local Dollar Tree store where you live, go stop by there and go to the makeup section and look for this LA Colors Contour. It's a duo between the powder and the bronzer part. So I will just be using today the bronzer. Now to highlight, I'm using my NYX 
high glass illuminating powder this one is in the shade moon glow So the thing, this one is like very putty light, you can see, press your finger and it gets it imprint. So what you gotta do with aluminum powder that is very like putty like, you have to spray your brush in order to pick up the actual color of the product. So I just sprayed my brush right now. So what you do is just swirl it around swirl 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 and then do this look at this look at this glow For the lips, I'm using the L'Oreal Rouge Liquid Lipstick. Mine is in the shade Rule Eye Roll. So this is the L'Oreal Paris Rouge Collection. I'm sure you guys seen it, the commercial on TV. The Rouge, now they added more shades, which I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait to get the other shade. They are so pretty. So this is it. And then I'm gonna swatch it. It's such a pretty, like a mauvey pink color. So pretty. Like, like when you apply it, it applies wet. But then it gets instantly matte. Then, to set this entire makeup, I'm going to use my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This one came out like about two years ago and I still love it. They have an extra large size. It is so great. I just really love this sun spray. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this no flashback drugstore makeup tutorial if you do please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next video